I got a call from my grandmother Grace, and she's popping in to see me. I haven't seen her in a long while. Hi Lily, my precious little baby. Hi Nan. I'm glad you could make it. Please sit down. Thank you sweetie. No, thank you. For coming over today. I'm glad I could come and see my now grown up granddaughter. I'm so proud of you. Thanks Nan. That means a lot coming from you. Are my great grandchildren then? Yes, they are. All five of them. I'm looking after Nemo and Jessica for a few hours while Romana, Roscoe and Lucy are out. Where are they? There you all are. Jessica, Nemo, Lizzie, Shelby and Mason. How wonderful to see you again. We are pleased to see you again too, Nanny Grace. We miss you. So very much. And it is a pleasure to see you again. Well, Shelby, don't just stand there. Aren't you going to tell your great-grandmother how much you've missed her? That would be a dirty fit. She looks too old too. Shelby Rose Barrett, you do not talk about me like that. That is really disrespectful. You are a very naughty girl. Naughty. No, I'm not. Shelby Rose Barrett, what you just said to your great-grandmother was very naughty. If you don't stop misbehaving, I will put you to bed. You will say you're sorry right now. I don't do apologies. You are being very naughty today, and I have had enough. Stop it, or be put to bed. You naughty girl. I won't stop it, that's bullshit. Shelby Rose Barrett. Your language is atrocious. That's it. I'm taking you upstairs and you're going to bed. You are being so naughty today. Yes. Shelby. Oh Lizzie, you are so naughty. Rubbing it in, again. Your mum warned me about your naughty habit of rubbing into things. Lizzie, you need to stop it. I heard you rubbing it in again Lizzie. That's very naughty of you. Go to your room and think about what you've done. Naughty girl, naughty little madam. <laughs>